Hello YouTube and welcome to my next planner tutorial. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a character have gun and when he, when the player holds down right mouse button or any else input, the character p picks the gun, draws it and starts to aim it and then he aims and holds it until the player releases the right mouse button or any else input and then he puts the gun away so let's start off firstly I'm gonna add a gun the gun is gonna be uh, something very simple for me um, so I'm gonna quickly model something very basic um, like this and now again I'm gonna also add uh, handle okay I have this gun so I'm gonna place it here next to my character and in this case character is gonna hold it like this in front of him uh, to indicate better this is gonna be the head of character and this is gonna be the face of him looks funny huh. and I'm gonna set to something like convex hall or I'll, or I'll leave the would be box set origin to geometry no center of mass right maybe even more it um downwards or downwards like this okay I have this character let's not pay much attention I'll parent this shotgun to it and set it to no collision nice now I'm gonna quickly make a quick animation so I'm gonna insert a keyframe here I'm gonna go called gun remember to always call your objects and meshes for better file management so I'm gonna add keyframe I'm gonna go in action ed editor actually so I'm gonna insert I'm gonna go to action editor here and add new animation and call it draw gun and I'm gonna insert keyframe here lock rot then I'm gonna go 30 frames ahead and I'm gonna now move the gun like character would hold it down in case if you have armature character you'll also need to make sure to make identically along in this case 30 frames animation for character to draw his gun for his arms and so on but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna just make this animation here so I insert it here and now I have this animation where he takes it okay now I'm gonna go back to my default editor and I'm gonna I'm gonna make set up this animation here so I'm gonna add this action draw gun and I'm gonna set it to property I'm gonna add property here and I'm gonna set it uh, raw it's gonna be integer here I'm gonna set it to use draw property um, I'm gonna enable blending here and call this gun 
and I'm gonna add always center and action this is actually draw animation so I'm gonna call it draw okay now I'm gonna add new script here so this is again I'm gonna make it in miscellaneous this is gonna be function uh, draw gun object um the name of this object so gun name um I'm gonna just make it, yeah gun name then I'm gonna take in the length of animation and input input is gonna be boolean so we must firstly define obj uh, scene here is obj.scene and uh, gun is scene.object uh, gun name this will take the object of scene which has name that equals the gun name input which is going to be str uh, string now I'm gonna make sure to access uh, the property in the gun. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna always make sure that it's always called draw in this specific function. I'll not assume any else option. I'm gonna type in if input. It will check if the input is true. Um, if this is true, then I'm gonna do um, if gun draw is smaller than than the length length gun draw plus equals one else if gun draw uh, draw is bigger than zero gun draw minus equals one okay done now I'm gonna return to cube and set up this function so it was miss dot gun draw if I recall correctly no draw gun I'm gonna actually copy this all here and get here. No, here. Except the semicolon. And now I'm gonna replace this with own. Here I'm gonna put in the gun name. In this case, we call this object gun. So I'm gonna type in gun. Length is 30, it's the length of animation. An input currently I'm gonna set it to true now whenever I run it you can see the player draws the gun nice but we don't have any input now I'm gonna make a quick input in this case I'm gonna use mouse button so I must quickly refresh my knowledge in documentation okay okay no actually I'm gonna use keyboard input as I want to leave most inputs for another tutorial so I'm gonna instead use more uh, keyboard input so I'm gonna take input uh, I'm gonna take aim equals input dot key uh, down events dot space key okay now when I I'm gonna replace this with aim. Now when I run it, if I hold down space, player keeps gun. And if I release it, he releases the gun. So this is it. We have player which draws gun when I hold down input and releases it when I release the input. So this is ready rig for it. Alternatively you can just 
um, make it there's another way if you want it to equip it and when you hit space and release it when you hit again so if here we can do it like this if um, if key hit and then if we hit the key um, aim uh, a not equal aim no aim not aim like this aim equals not aim or what was the sy syntax Is it our blender? There had to be functional like this. What the heck? I'm gonna pause to solve this. Okay, sorry. Um, two letters were missing for some reason in my function. So don't worry, I have just fixed it. And now, when I hit space because we haven't defined aim yet before um, we need first in tell is it somewhere um, I'm gonna do it like this <coughs> uh, if not in it and own own any equals true aim equals false um now it still doesn't work because this is local variable okay then i can just make use of own uh, aim S this is a way that you can Easily replace it. Sorry. And now I'm gonna add property to player called aim. Now I hit space. It keeps. I hit it again. It is a keeps. Yes, this is the best way that you can make your character draw your gun easily. And uh, if you need, you, if you have armature player, make sure you also have action on armature, and you make another function draw again. Like I'll quickly show you. I'll set up armature. Okay, so here I have set it up. So it's basically actually the same setup was for gun, but for armature. Um, and now what we do is just copy this line, paste it here. And place in here the armature name. I'm gonna call it uh, bones. So uh, bones. Um. And now you can see the player actually draws the gun. For some reason, I can see latency. Um. Have to be there or not? It's just fault for animation, okay? No, it's latency here or there or where? Yes, I did. Hmm. Okay, no, no, not reason to worry about. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is how you can set up for multiple objects, and this is it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.